A really common question that a lot of coding influencers get asked is how to get a job in tech. Now, I've personally answered this through DMs, voice chat, phone calls, Twitter spaces, you name it, hundreds of times. And while over the years as the tech landscape changes, so does my answer to this question. So in this video, I'm going to talk about what I think right now is the fastest path to get a job in tech as a programmer. So if you want to get a job as a programmer, I think the fastest way to do this is to first learn HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Now before we get into the rest of the video, if you currently know or end up learning JavaScript, then I'd like to take this time to mention the sponsor of today's video, Lisk. Lisk is a blockchain application platform where developers can create blockchain applications using JavaScript, the most popular programming language amongst developers. And I know blockchain development can be confusing, but don't worry. The Lisk SDK is accessible and easy to use with comprehensive tutorials and documentation. If you check out their site, there are tutorials that take you step by step through how to start developing blockchain applications. And the barrier to entry is not that high. They make it inclusive and accessible for developers as well as blockchain enthusiasts or cryptocurrency investors. The accessibility of the SDK as well as the popularity of JavaScript means that there is so much potential for this project. They even have financial support for devs and entrepreneurs to get started. And this new wave of programming has just started, so if you're interested, make sure to apply. There are a bunch of applications already being built on Lisk, like Calipo, a DAO platform, or Collecti, a marketplace being built on Lisk. My favorite part about Lisk is the accessibility of the SDK, as well as the many useful tutorials on their website that make it easy to get started with blockchain development. Web3 is a thing now, with a ton of the fastest growing startups being involved in this space. So if you're interested in blockchain application development using JavaScript, definitely click the link in the description and check out Lisk today. All right, so as I was saying, I think that you should learn HTML, CSS, and JavaScript if you're interested in the fastest way to get a job as a programmer in tech right now. And I'm telling you to learn these three things specifically because this is the fastest way you can get started building real world software. Most introduction to web development courses teach you HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, so you can find tutorials for these on anywhere like Code Academy, Pluralsight, or even just YouTube. And through learning these three technologies, you'll be able to build your first real world software, which for that, I recommend you build yourself a portfolio website. You can build an entire portfolio website with just those three things. You learned HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. And once you build this portfolio website, what you can do is you can upload that code to a GitHub account, which you're gonna need to create, and host that website on the internet through GitHub pages. This is completely free and learning how to do this will teach you how to use Git, which is an essential skill you'll need to know to work as a programmer. A portfolio website is a great first project because afterwards, every software project you build from here on out, you could put on your portfolio website. This way in the future, not only will you be able to send your portfolio for future employers to look at software projects, but they'll also be able to see that you were able to build a website and host it online. So at this point, you should have your own portfolio website, a GitHub account, these are two great things. Now you might wanna build some small software projects to get used to building software. These can be simple projects like a web page or a mini game. You basically just wanna stay consistent with building software. After you're comfortable programming, then you're gonna to want to level up your tech a little bit here. So for this, I'd recommend learning Node.js and React.js. These are kind of industry standard technologies that software engineers and JavaScript developers use. React.js is a JavaScript framework for the front end, and then Node.js is a server-side programming language for the back end. And through learning these technologies, you're gonna learn how to build a full stack application. When you're learning to build a full stack application, I recommend doing something that involves data. But basically, if you just follow any full stack React.js JavaScript application, course or tutorial online, they'll take you through everything. One of the things that really helped me when I was first learning all of this stuff was building a clone of a particular website. And there's a lot of tutorials online where you can follow along and build a clone of something like Twitter, for example. Now, once you understand how to build full stack application software, you're pretty much almost where you need to be to be employed full time. You could probably already find employment at some really small companies, but I'd recommend taking it a little bit farther, build some of your own ideas. So come up with some project ideas, build some projects, and then fill up that portfolio website as well as these are going to be useful for your resume. So just to recap, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, make a portfolio site, learn full stack application development, and then just start building software and filling up that portfolio website. 
and make sure you're putting that stuff on GitHub because companies look at that. You could also make a Twitter and document yourself working on these projects because you can grow a following on there and companies like to see that as well. And then in addition to that, you're gonna have a whole section of your resume now, projects that you could fill out with a bunch of different projects as you build them. Now, as far as your resume goes, social media is becoming almost as important as your resume. So definitely make all of the social accounts, make a LinkedIn account, make an AngelList account, make a Twitter, you have your GitHub, make a YouTube channel if you wanna document stuff there, make a TikTok if you think that's interesting. Some people like Instagram, you know, just have some kind of social presence. But for your resume, I think you should just find a really solid software engineering template resume and start to replace the person's information, the template information with your own. I'm going to link in the description where I learned to get all of my template resumes from. Now, as you fill out your resume, you need to understand that as you interview for jobs, they're not really going to press you about how much you know every single technology. So it's okay to exaggerate a little bit. For example, even on my resume, I have some skills listed that I've only used a few times. And honestly, if you ask me anything about them, I probably wouldn't know. But mainly what you're gonna be asked during an interview is about your technical qualifications that are related to the job that are on your resume. So uh, yeah, doing a little bit of exaggeration is not going to hurt you in the long run. Now, once you have all of this stuff, you have the social media, you have the resume, you have the portfolio, you have the experience, the knowledge, you're basically ready to become a professional programmer. However, even at this stage, I notice a lot of people lack the confidence or determination to send out applications, even though you're qualified. And that may be due to some of these job listings being very intimidating, where they're asking for so many different skills and so many years of experience. But let me tell you, all of these job listings are total BS. Most of them are asking for way, way, way more experience than they're willing to accept. My suggestion is to pretty much apply everywhere. Look up what job you're interested in. So whether it's software engineer, or full stack developer, or backend developer, and just apply everywhere. There's tons of job websites you can do this on. And if you fill out your information on your profile correctly, you can apply with just the click of a button. So people think I exaggerate when I say this, but when I'm looking for a job, I apply to thousands. It's because for me, I don't mind putting a podcast or some music on and just clicking a button over and over and over and over again. Now your email might get a little bit crazy, but the fact is a lot of companies are gonna reject you automatically. So you wanna to apply to as many as you can. And I think a lot of people's egos are hurt when they only apply to a few and they get rejected and they lose their confidence and they feel like they're not gonna get a job. But companies treat us like numbers and you should treat companies like numbers too. So apply to as many as you can and you will hear back from some if you apply to enough. And for me, even if I don't wanna work at some of these companies that I apply to, I'll still interview just for practice for a company that I do want to work at. These recruiters deal with tens of thousands of applications and they're not going to remember you. So feel free to apply to as many positions as you want. But if you apply enough and interview enough, you will find a company that is interested in hiring you because there are so many companies looking for programmers. I mean, every company in the modern day is practically a tech company and hires software engineers. So the odds are in your favor. So that all together is my fastest path for becoming a working programmer in the tech industry. It's a little bit unconventional. It's a little bit unconventional because most people would say not to apply to every job out there. But for me, that's what's always worked. And that's what I'm gonna to continue to do. And then the very last thing is companies love social media. People are getting hired from social media and content creation all the time. If you want a better chance, definitely create content, join communities, talk to programmers. People are, you know, big YouTubers, big influencers in the coding space or on Twitter every day doing talks, letting you guys up talking to you, giving you advice, letting you ask questions. So there's big discords you can join and people are just willing to help. So join these communities and get involved. So let me know what you think about the strategy in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.